Have you ever wondered how an IR sensor really works? In this short demo, I'll explain it with real voltages and circuit behavior. IR sensors are widely used in obstacle detection, motion sensing, and line following robots. Let's see what goes on inside. Here's the core idea. The IR LED continuously emits infrared light. When an object comes close, this IR light reflects back and hits the photodiode. This changes its resistance. The photodiode output is fed to a comparator. The comparator checks if the signal is above or below a reference voltage set by a potentiometer. This reference voltage doesn't just compare, it controls sensitivity. Lowering the reference makes it detect smaller reflections. This is the circuit. It includes an IR LED, a photodiode, an op-amp comparator, a potentiometer for reference, and an active high output LED. In idle condition, there's no object near the sensor. The IR rays don't reflect back to the photodiode, so its voltage is higher, around 1.2 volts. Reference voltage is 0.6 volts. Since 1.2 volts is greater than 0.6 volts, the comparator output stays high. This keeps the output LED off. Now, when an object is placed in front of the sensor, IR rays reflect and hit the photodiode. Its output drops to about 0.1 volts. Now, 0.1 volts, less than 0.6 volts. The comparator detects this and sets the output low. The output LED turns on, indicating object detection. Now I'll show you what happens when we reduce the reference voltage using the potentiometer. By rotating the potentiometer, we can change the reference voltage. If we decrease the reference voltage, the sensor becomes less sensitive. Now it needs a stronger reflection, lower photodiode voltage, to go below the reference and trigger detection. If we increase the reference voltage, the sensor becomes more sensitive because even a weaker reflection, slightly lowered photodiode voltage, can go below the reference and cause detection. That's how an IR proximity sensor works. Simple yet powerful. Hope this video helped you understand the core concept. Don't forget to like, share, and explore more DIY electronics with me.